my two blankets. Moving is hard, but friends make it easier. My Two Blankets by Irina Cabald. Auntie used to call me Cartwheel. Then came the war. Auntie didn't call me Cartwheel anymore. We came to this country to be safe. Everything was strange. The people were strange. The food was strange. The animals and the plants were strange. Even the wind felt strange. Nobody spoke like I did. When I went out, it was like standing under a waterfall of strange sounds. The waterfall was cold. It made me feel alone. It felt like it wasn't me anymore. When I was home, I wrapped myself in a blanket of my own words and sounds. I called it my old blanket. My old blanket was warm, it was soft, it covered me all over. It made me feel safe. Sometimes, I didn't want to go out. I wanted to stay under my blanket forever. One day, a girl in the park smiled at me. Then she waved. I wanted to smile back, but I was scared. I kept walking with Auntie. When I looked back, the girl waved again. Next time we went to the park, I looked for the girl. She wasn't there. We went back three times before I saw her again. She waved and smiled and I felt warm inside. The girl came up to us and said something. Her words were strange. It was like being back under that cold waterfall. But the girl kept smiling. She took me to the swings. I got on. And she pushed me higher and higher, and I wanted to laugh. I wanted to tell her how glad I was that we were friends. But I didn't know how. When I was home, I hid under my old blanket. I wondered if I would always feel sad. I wondered if I would ever feel like me again. The next time I saw the girl, she brought some words for me. She made me say them over and over. Every time I met the girl, she brought more words. Some of the words were hard. Some of the words were easy. Sometimes they sounded funny and we laughed. <laughs> Sometimes I felt silly and I wanted to cry. At night, when I lay in bed under my old blanket, I whispered the new words again and again. 
Soon, they didn't sound so cold and sharp anymore. They started to sound warm and soft. I was weaving a new blanket. At first, my new blanket was thin and small. But every day, I added new words to it. The blanket grew and grew. I forgot about the cold, lonely waterfall. My new blanket was just as warm and soft and comfortable as my old blanket. And now, no matter which blanket I use, I will always be 